So, one day you decided to play with your friend. You gave one controller to your friend, one for yourself, and then this happened. Turns out that you cannot use your Joy-Con anymore, even though all the other buttons are working. So what do you do? Selamat pagi! Hey guys, Kenneth here. I'm gonna tell you that there's still hope. You can still fix this, you don't have to buy a new Joy-Con, because the only thing that's broken is these three buttons over here. So here I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step repair guide on how to change the side buttons of the Joy-Con. Let's get started. Okay, so here are the parts and the tools that we need. Uh, the part itself is actually this small and be careful that the right side and the left side is different. Here, I can bring you the left Joy-Con and it's actually flipped. So make sure you're buying the right part. And then we will also need a Phillips head screw with the size of PH00 and a tripoint screw with the size of 06 and a pair of tweezers. So the tweezer is better to be plastic as I said in my other video in which I explain how to clean the Joy-Con. But anyway, to disconnect the battery I discovered that you can use your hand and just pull the cable out, so let's do that later. So now, to get started, uh, we'll open the outer shell of the Joy-Con and we'll use the tri-point screw for that. So prepare your tri-point screw and we'll remove these four screws. Okay, so now we got all the four screws out and we'll open it by prying it from the side and this side that has button, we pull it up. Okay, so once you pull it out, um, in my case, I actually tried uh, to fix this by bending it somehow, but unfortunately I broke it in the process. So yours might not look like this, but anyway, we're gonna change this, right? So, what we're gonna do first is we'll disconnect this cable so that we can separate them. We're gonna take our tweezers. Oh. Okay, so what are we gonna do first is to disconnect the battery from everything here before we start using our metal tweezers here. So, what are we gonna do uh, is just Taking the cable, it's right there, and then you just pull it up, okay? Now, with the electricity disconnected, we're gonna separate these two by pulling this cable. So, if you can see, there is a gray bar here. We'll want to open it slightly up, just like that. And so, we can pull this one. Oops. Sorry. Okay, so with that separated, now we want to get access to this one. And to get there, we will want to change to a Phillips head screw. So we're gonna remove these three screws over here. Okay, so now the last thing will be to disconnect this NFC antenna over here. So I'll get our tweezers and just lift it up, like so. So, we're disconnected. Last thing that we're gonna do is to separate this, but be careful that there is a little tiny ribbon cable at the top left there. Uh, you don't wanna tear it apart, so be careful. Okay, so to disconnect this one, and there's a black bar here, and we're gonna lift it up. Very, be careful that this is very fragile, so everything inside, you'll need to do it very, very carefully. Okay, so I lifted it up, and now I can free this ribbon cable, in my case, the broken ribbon cable. Okay, so now we will put the new side buttons, and just hold it like this, aligned it. You can see, try to pull it a little bit, and if it doesn't move, then it's locked into its place. 
and finally press the black bar back in like so now we disconnect it we'll want to put the middle part back in by the way there's one tip you will want to slip the cable inside between the middle part and the front part like so so with this kind of uh, method it will be harder to be broken because uh, they don't actually fold really really tightly now let's put the three screws back into its place okay let's connect the NFC antenna cable back again okay we're gonna take this apart there's two screws here and then you can just lift it apart okay so now we will want to connect these together okay so to align it there is a small hole on the top and you should get it aligned with the plastic over there then now you can screw the two screws back in be careful not to put the screws too tightly because that will break the actual part and now we're almost done all we have to do is just to connect the rest of the parts this one doesn't go in fully, so that should be enough. And we're just gonna press on the gray bar, lock it. Okay, done. And the last one is to connect the power connector. Okay, and that's about it. We're gonna start closing it by aligning the side bar. And, and there we can see that the lights are up. Okay, so now for closing up, we're gonna have to use our dry point screw and put all the four screws back in. All done, pretty simple, right? Okay, so now to test it, let's see that this works now beautifully. And to test all the buttons, we can go to system settings, controllers and sensors. And there is a test input devices here. You can test the controller buttons and especially these two buttons. So all is working beautifully now. We can even turn it off. Okay, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. And I hope it helped. If you have a broken joystick, that is drifting you can refer to my other video in which i show you how to open up and clean the insides please click the like button if it helped subscribe for more videos like this i occasionally make tutorials and i'll see you in the next video yeah